Hello friends of DNA Sharp, I'm Bogdan and in this video I will show you how to style action forms using CSS classes and CSS styles options that are available for each field. So if I go to manage settings, I open the first name field and here you'll notice that I have uh, CSS classes and CSS styles fields for both the label and the control. And in this example I'll just style the control. So let's say I want to make it bigger, I want to make it uh, 20 pixels and I want also to make it uh, maybe a dark blue and these are plain um, CSS styles, no magic here I will save this and I will go back to the site and now if I go to the first name uh, and I type something you can notice that I have a bigger font and it's blue compared to this one which is the default smaller and gray but now if I would uh, want to style all these controls I would have to copy all the styles across all fields so I would just have to grab these styles and copy paste them to all the fields but then when I would want to change a style I would have to go through all the fields and update them and that could become uh, very difficult to manage so instead what you can do, you can create a class. So let's say I create a class named form label. And this is a class that is defined elsewhere and which will uh, contain this style definition. And let's uh, also give last name the same class so I can demonstrate this feature. So I will also give it form label. Okay, I will save this and Currently there is uh, no meaning to this class. I just created a class and I gave it whatever name I wanted. So there is no effect now. And these uh, CSS classes you can define either in uh, external CSS files and or in the page header in a styles element. And I will demonstrate both. And I will start with, um, with uh, including a style node in the page header. And to do this, you can go into page settings in the advanced tab. There is a page header tag section. And here you can see I already have my class. Here you define a style node. You put the name of the class, which is form label, and you put a dot in front of it. And then you just put all the styles, separate them with a semicolon. And then just save this, go back to the site and you see that our styles haven't kicked in. This is most likely because um, something else is overwriting our styles because when after this uh, header is defined, if we look at, at the page source, you see our styles are, are here, but then there, uh, there's a lot of includes happening. For example, um, uh, these ones, you see, there are more uh, CSS files included that would override this style. So we have uh, other options, but the simplest and uh, the most used is to just force our styles and we can force it with a um, with a keyword named important and it starts like this it starts with a question mark and then important and it follows uh, just before the semicolon and I will copy this to these other styles as well update and see if my style kicked in so you see now it's the new style and if I go to the last name you see it's the same style. For email it's not because I haven't applied the, the class but I can go in and put the class for all the controls. And now if I simply go to, to the page settings and change a style, let's say I want it uh, to make it smaller, let's say I want it to make it 8 pixel, very small and I want to, ma to make it uh, let's say yellow and I will update this will save 
uh, this will apply to both fields so that I don't have to go and change in two places okay so now it's yellow it's not very readable and now I will show you also how you can put it in a CSS files by default don't then you can load a few CSS files for you it will load a default CSS which loads for all portals and it will load a portal.css which loads per portal and I will do my changes to portal.css which is this file and is located in the uh, portal home directory so in my case portals 0 and I have this portal CSS file that is only loaded for this portal and I will open it in a text editor and I can go at the end and add my CSS classes so it's the same syntax so form label and I will just apply the same style uh, let's give it uh, other styles so I don't have to go and um, or actually I should go and clean, clear, clear up these styles from here so they don't interfere with my example so I just delete everything update I will no longer have the yellow color here and now I can simply put it here okay so uh, I will make it again uh, maybe a dark uh, blue and now I save this file go back to the site refresh and you see my studies have already kicked in so this is John Doe in very small caps and basically you can uh, now I can only update one place and it will propagate to all places where this CSS class is used and you can uh, actually go I recommend uh, starting if you're not familiar with CSS I recommend starting with with uh, W3 schools tutorials so it's uh, www.w3schools.com and here they have um, HTML and CSS tutorials and you can start with from here and then search for specific things uh, as you move along and into something more specific this is it thanks for your time and uh, please come to our forums if you need anything at all